Does how you look impact your success in school, work, or how the world treats you? Do people perceive advantages in life simply because society deems them beautiful? This is what's called pretty privilege. To find out what psychology says about pretty privilege, keep watching. Treated differently. Social psychologists Michael Hogg and Graham Vaughn say that attractive people receive different treatment and face different assumptions. Those who meet a certain standard of beauty are often the recipients of better social treatment and advantages in life, meaning those who don't meet these standards of beauty receive social disadvantages. Before we talk about what these advantages are, let's first explore what is considered beautiful according to psychology. Beauty standard. What is beautiful? Does it lie in the eye of the beholder? Is it decided by trends and media? Or is there a measurable way to define what is pretty? According to anthropologist Clellan Ford and psychologist Frank Beach, cultures have their own beauty ideals, meaning not all cultures view beauty the same way. Naturalist and biologist Charles Darwin was struck by these differences, finding that different cultures have certain preferences for skin color, body hair, size, and beauty practices. However, there are certain features that are viewed as attractive cross-culturally. According to psychology, facial symmetry and an average looking face is considered most attractive. Evolution. When someone attractive catches your eye, you probably aren't thinking they're beautiful because they look average and symmetrical. So what do these psychological findings mean and where do they come from? Psychological studies show that people view average looking faces as the most attractive when they compare individual faces to computer generated faces representing the median or average features of a certain population. These computerized faces end up being highly symmetrical. Forensic neuropsychologist Judy Ho explains that symmetry generally has a correlation to biological strength and healthy genes. From an evolutionary perspective, reproduction is critical to ensure that an organism's genes don't die, which means preferences may be adaptations for mate choice because attractive traits signal important aspects of mate quality explained psychology professor Jillian Rhodes. The idea that beauty comes from an evolutionary reproductive need suggests that we are instinctively wired to view certain people as pretty. Privilege. The advantages of being pretty start early. Children with pretty privilege get higher grades, more popularity, and are observed as being better adjusted than their peers. According to social psychologist Michael Hogg and Graham Vaughn, in adulthood, beautiful adults have more dates, more career success, and are more liked by their peers. Another piece of the puzzle when looking at the advantages of being pretty is what psychologists call the halo effect, which is if you view someone as having one good trait, you can then associate many other good traits with the original. So if you view someone as beautiful, you might assume they are also talented, smart, or funny. Of course, that isn't always the case. You might assume someone is shallow or not as smart, because of their beauty. Full picture. Being pretty has its privileges, but it doesn't tell the whole story. For example, the number one indicator for job success is someone's IQ, not their appearance. And studies show teacher quality is the biggest contributor to academic achievement. Even something like being popular isn't always the result of being pretty. Psychologist Marina Harris says vulnerability and authenticity are what build meaningful connections and lead to likability and high self-esteem can come from living in alignment with your values, according to psychologist Nick Wignall. You are more. There's something comforting about the fact that physical beauty fades, but the beauty of your soul lasts forever. Real beauty doesn't need makeup because you're so much more than how you look. Do you notice that when someone makes you laugh, inspires you, or makes you feel something, you forget what they look like? Or when you kiss someone, do you keep your eyes open? Probably not. This is because real beauty is seen in your heart. It's important to learn about the subconscious biases we hold so we can untrain these beliefs and in turn, treat ourselves and others better. Poet Rupi Kaur shares how you can do just that. We wanna mention that while Rupi is talking to women, her words apply to everyone. I want to apologize to all the women I have called beautiful before I've called them intelligent or brave. I'm sorry I made it sound as though something as simple as what you were born with is all you have to be proud of. When you have broken mountains with your wit. From now on, I will say things like, you are resilient, or you are extraordinary. Not because I don't think you're beautiful, because I need you to know you are more than that. Do you think pretty privilege exists?
and let us know in the comments below. And no matter what, don't forget that Sai thinks you're beautiful just the way you are. And remember, you matter. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own Sai. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go, and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today. Link is listed in the description box.